And we want to turn now to Osceola County, where officials are already getting ready for any possible impacts. All day, crews have been surveying troubled spots and flushing out storm drains so they're ready to go. News 6's Carolina Cardona continues our coverage. Plans are already underway in preparation for a potential impact from this storm. Emergency leaders here in Osceola County stressing that residents should use this weekend to buy food, batteries, water, and also place any items outside their homes inside. It could be a couple days. Be prepared for maybe three to plus days of power outages in certain areas. Bill Litton, Osceola County's emergency management director, says they're keeping a close eye on the storm. Preps already underway with crews going to troubled areas. Bridges, submerged roads, taking those photographs now so we have that data. Um, also, storm water systems that we know that can get clogged up, having the teams go out there, make sure those are clean and ready to go. Five years ago, Osceola County was impacted by Hurricane Irma, which caused severe flooding, downed trees and power lines. It's not just the winds that will come through on these storms. It's the rainfall, so we want to be concerned about the flooding in our area, but also the tornadoes. We have a high threat if we're in that right quadrant as it comes across the state. And that's why officials are already urging residents to do their part to stay safe. Now is the time for them to take the actions now to clean up their homes, around their homes, look for any tree branches that are down that could become projectiles, swing sets, toys that are outside, garden hoses. The county says their emergency operations center will most likely be activated on Tuesday. We're in very good shape here with our emergency response team, and it's not just the county. Uh, we partner with both cities here. We have a great partnership with the city of Kissimmee, city of St. Cloud, and our external partners that we bring in. From this communications room, almost a dozen operators will take phone calls from residents with questions and concerns. The Citizens Information Line will open up Monday morning. That number is 407-742-0000. Bilingual operators will also be available. In Osceola County, I'm Carolina Cardona getting results to News 6.